What I'm feeling is when it comes to um, questions about spirituality of, um, you know, your own faith in life and your own ability to really start to manifest things, you might encounter some blockages this month and you are questioning your life, your life's direction. Okay. Um, let the energy subside. And I feel a lot of confusion regarding, you know, am I doing the right thing? Am I on the right path? And am I, you know, doing what's best for everybody involved? I feel that you need to take a little bit more time, withdraw inward and figure out rather than asking, am I doing the best thing for everybody involved? Ask yourself, what do I want for me? What do I need to do in order to, you know, make myself happy? Because a lot of the times you are the, the, the sign that is always, always, always of service to other people. And I know that my readings for Virgos tend to be a little bit biased because I know a lot of Virgos that will, you know, work themselves to the bone to help other people. And they get very uh, little recognition and reciprocation. And I feel that it is really important for you to, you know, ask yourself, what do I need to do to make myself happy? And um, there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while, okay? So keep that in mind. Take care of your mental health, okay? Um, let me see if there's anything else. Any last-minute messages? Um, I feel that you are dealing with a lot of people are coming to you, and they're so confused. And I, I feel like they're, they're these are like a different group altogether they're coming to you and they don't really have a clear sense of their their own life direction and they're trying to like you know make you um they're trying to ask you for advice about what should i do and um in that situation i don't feel that they're taking you for granted they're just utterly confused and you're like uh, very systematic and you know how to i'm going to give you all four of these cards because i feel like you might need it okay um, so they're coming to you and they're just utterly confused about the next step that they need to take in their lives. So they need some kind of like, uh, they need somebody to bounce ideas off of. So I don't feel in that case, it's people that are taking advantage of you. But if there's a specific person that has been, you know, over and over and over again, constantly asking you for um, help and things like that, and they're not taking initiative, I feel that it is really, a lot of you will be telling them off. A lot of you are kind of like fighting back. A lot of you are no longer enabling that type of behavior. So let's go into your spread. And um, your final financial state, this is a very, very good prospect, okay? We do have here the King of Pentacles, which is basically one of the most stable uh, card for finances. Um, it came out very, very early in the spread. So this is your energy. This is the energy that you're bringing to the entire month, which is one of practicality and financial stability, um, whenever I see this card, this is a person that is really, really systematic. When they give advice, if you can impl implement their advice, whatever you touch is going to turn to gold. So you are in a position where you're dishing out a lot of good advice for other people. A lot of you might be dealing with people who are very, very emotionally depressed or who are going through a lot of anxieties. You're giving them ways, tools, strategies to cope with not only these mental issues that they're dealing with, but you're giving them like concrete ways in which they can overcome them and to restart their life. A lot of you might be doing this for a majority, like in a work situation, if you are like a mental health counselor or if you're um, if you deal with like human resources, if you're dealing with a lot of distressed people, you're giving them the tools to like um, help them out of difficult situations. You're giving them the tools when they do not know how to take care of themselves, when they, they don't know how. One of the main things I want you to be very mindful about is the way that the, the cards fall out. I read a lot of images with this deck, okay? The swords are going, you know, crossing this person and also affecting you. Draw clear boundaries. Do not take on other people's problems and, you know, become wrapped up in other people's problems because you're in a very, very strong emotional state right now. But you are, you know, a really, really kind, loving sign and you want to be of help to other people. You want to give people practical considerations. If 
certain people are in this emotional state, they're not re yet ready to implement your advice. So rather than taking the reins, you want to, you know, maybe wait it out and wait until they are at a point where they can actually take care of themselves and implement your advice in the future, okay? So don't push for a certain outcome. You're giving people a lot of advice. They're coming to you and they're very, very distressed is what I'm sensing. And you want to, you know, help everybody, but just don't take on their burdens, okay? That's the only thing I'm sensing here. I don't feel that you're dealing with mental energy, mental anguish and things like that. But um, I also want to say that a lot of you are taking on additional new work projects. You're finishing up, you're wrapping some things up and you might not be getting enough sleep, okay? Um, something to be mindful about, but the finance of financial situation looks very good. If you have been dealing with somebody that is um, very like either bipolar or they were dealing with a lot of emotional ups and down. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is a, an acquaintance. Um, for a few others of you, this can play out as like a mother figure, somebody within your home environment. So mother figure, father figures is what I'm sensing, who might be emotionally very up and down. And keep in mind, this is a pentacle suit. So it could be like um, coming in from... Also from your end, if you've been juggling multiple things and you've been feeling quite distressed as a result of it, I definitely feel situations alleviating. If you're dealing with this person as an external energy, like somebody coming through with a lot of emotional upheaval in their life who are like one minute, you know, very like emotionally, very up and down. I definitely feel that they also have some healing coming through and it is as a result of your hard work. If you've been in a helping profession, if you're working in the health, mental health capacity, counseling or any type of, you know, financial planning for another person who is like hitting rock bottom, I definitely feel they are going to be able to have some type of a major breakthrough when it comes to their emotional and mental state or even their physical health that situation will alleviate. So you are basically the guardian angel showing up in their own life, okay? I feel like you're dealing with a lot of distressed people. A lot of people who have very clouded energy and they need you to somehow sort out their life for them. So it could be in a mental health profession or in a uh, financial like consul consultation type of a situation. You're unraveling something for another person so that um, they can start to see how the pieces fit together and they can start to see the forest for the trees rather than being mired in this really, really um, troublesome emotional state. Okay, so good for you, Virgos. Um, in terms of your communication, we do have the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Cups. First message I'm getting out from these two cards is that I feel that you are drawing very clear boundaries and you're telling other people as well. I'm only going to help you if you're willing to help yourself. So, you know, I'll meet you halfway. If you don't want to help yourself, if you're feeling like constantly very sorry for yourself, I'm not going to help you with this situation. I feel so you're saying something like that where you're telling people, I will help you. You know, you're a very kind person and you don't, but you don't want to be taken advantage of. And if you feel like someone is being so dependent on you to sort out all the pieces in their lives, and I feel like this might pertain to family members, then you're not going to be able to help them because they are constantly like uh, pestering you. What should I do next? What do I need to do next? So there's a lot of handholding that needs to, ha that has happened in the past with other people constantly coming to you. So I feel like you're drawing up clear boundaries, okay? For a lot of you, um, there might be a situation where you are dealing with an air sign. So this is Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And I do feel there is a walking away from this situation. And it might be something that you've invested a lot of time in, a lot of resources, a lot of just, you know, emotions in. But you're realizing that this situation is not going to pan out the way that you'd hope. And you are cutting your losses and moving on. Um, I do feel if you are dealing with an air sign for this month, so Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, I'm feeling some sense of empowerment coming back into for this air sign, like a sense of empowerment coming in. Additionally, if you have been, you know, just like 
spiritually, emotionally drained in the past. I feel that you are drawing up your boundaries and you are basically cutting your losses when it comes to lost causes, okay, like lost causes. If you've devoted your time in avenues and people that have not been working out, then you're basically, you know, going through your books and um, trying to manage, you know, where can I cut corners or not exactly cutting corners, but where can I cut back in my emotional or time investment? Where can I um, streamline work processes? So a lot of superfluous things are being cut out of your life and you're, you're the one that is implementing this um, process so that you have a lot more time to free up for your mental health, okay? Mental health comes in very strongly for this month. So I would say, once again, you know, rather than asking, what can I do to help everybody else? You want to draw that energy back in towards you, pull it back and um, figure out what you need to do to help yourself. I feel like for a lot of you, just uh, don't work yourself to the bone. Take care of your mental health. Do things that make you feel good, okay? Like grabbing friends and going out for drinks. Um, doing recreational activities. I feel like it's, um, it's a good month for you to start doing that, but take care of your mental health, okay? Now, in terms of the work environment, we have the Five of Cups as well as the Three of Pentacles. For a lot of you, the Five of Cups usually indicates to me some type of um, a situation in a work environment where somebody might be leaving, like somebody that you're very close to. Um, they might have found work, employment opportunities, or whatever other reason they're leaving the work environment. So there might be a celebra celebratory you know, get-together but then they're moving on to other things. So there is that sense of regret as well. And I feel like there are new people coming through that are taking, um, that are taking over that other person's job. So there is some type of an expansion opportunity in terms of the work environment. Either, you know, um, more branches are being added to the main job more projects are being added, more people are being added. So you might have like cons other consultants coming through, other people being added to the work environment, other employees being added in. Um, but at the same time, I feel like, you know, other people are leaving. So it's a bittersweet process. On the one hand, they're moving on to better things. So you are happy for them. But on the other hand, you're going to miss their company around the work environment. Um, in terms of your own abilities to really um, feel, I guess, like uh, productive in the work environment, I feel for a lot of you, you're taking the lead in a situation because other people that you're working with are not qualified. I feel like there's lack of qualification, there's lack of emotional stability in their own life that will um, enable them to do their job well and to perform well. So this energy, I feel, could also be from your end if you feel that, okay, I'm, I'm not like mentally, emotionally invested in this right now. Uh, take a mental health day, you know, do things that make you feel good and then come back and you're going to get more inspiration, okay? Um, a lot of you are being consulted for some type of a major, major um, operation. So if you are in a, uh, a job and you're kind of like the, the top brass in your field, I feel like other people that are also in a position of power are coming to you and consulting you. Like, how do we fix this? I have this problem with this very, very severe case. How would you fix it? And they're, they're basically consulting you because you are, you have a lot of experience and expertise. So even, I feel like you're, you might be very young and you're like on top of the, you're like in a, um, a career track. I feel like other people are grooming you. I also feel like other people that are a lot older and more experienced than you in the field, for some reason, I see them consulting you because, you know, you have some really strong, I guess, like, uh, knowledge about what you're doing. So it looks very good, but I do feel that, um... You want to just, you know, limit your time helping other people, let people take care of their own situations. I'm also feeling as well that there might be some mistakes that have been made in the work environment and, you know, surprise, surprise, um, you're called upon to fix them. But um, 
I feel that the people that are fixing them, um, the people that have caused the mistakes in the first place, I feel like they weren't in the right frame of mind. They didn't have the knowledge to do it right the first time. So you're doing some damage control. Okay, Virgos. Um, overall, things look very good, though. You're in a very high position, and I feel like you're going to be in the spotlight. Speaking of spotlight, and this is your advice here. We have here the Six of Pentacles. So this is a card about recognition. Um, being in the public eye, being put in the spotlight, having that, you know, limelight shine on having the spotlight shine upon you and a lot of Virgos are very good at working behind the scenes but I feel like this is the month in which you're going to be getting a lot of recognition for all the extra work that you're, you've done in the past for your skills your knowledge and your expertise okay so be prepared there is some type of a either a public recognition ceremony in which you might be uh, called upon to either give a speech or to you know like give some type of um Give some type of spiel about, you know, how I would do this, how I would do that, and how I would tackle this problem. So you're being thrust in the limelight, okay? And I feel that this is going to be a very good uh, month for you in terms of your public image. So a lot of success are coming through as well on the financial front, but also on the recognition front. Um, for others of you, let me see how these tie in together. We have here the Prince of Cups or the Knight of Cups. And what I'm almost feeling as well is that you are going to get a lot of good reception. There is potentially as well an offer for new romance coming through for those of you who are single and looking. There is also going to be some type of romantic gesture coming through whether or not you are coupled or in a marriage situation or single. There's definitely people around you that are really taking a liking to you and there will be love offers coming through. We also have the Ace of Swords, which is basically mental clarity, victory. So if you have some type of lingering, you know, situation, uh, if you've entered a contest, if you have some lingering situation and you're wondering, like, am I going to be victorious in it? We have some guaranteed success coming through. The Ace of Swords is immediately followed by the Sun. So a lot of you are getting awards. A lot of you have won something. A lot of you are like um, on stage to get some type of public recognition, okay? And I do feel it is greatly tied in with the work environment where somebody is physically handling, handing you either a trophy, a diploma, a certificate, something that you've um, worked hard on. You're going to get public recognition for it. So I see a very powerful month for you where you're wrapping up projects there's a lot of busy energy which indicates to me your hard work is going to really pay off and you're going to be in the limelight as a result of it so very very good month Virgos make sure you get enough sleep don't take on other people's issues take care of your problems first okay and take care of your own responsibilities first let's see what is in store for you in terms of love and relationships what's going on for Virgos in terms of love and relationships. Romance Relationships, Virgo, June 2016. Okay, give me a moment. One of the cards fell off the table. Okay, so we have here the High Priestess. You've got some really powerful cards. So we have the Hierophant and the High Priestess. Both of these deals with very, very uh, heavy karmic energies. 
the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Ace of Swords crowning. Ace of Swords is upright. The Temperance card in the reverse. Okay, I'm going to, yeah, let me just pull out two, two more. Okay, so uh, I'll give you these two as well um okay so the center of the spread here we do have the hierophant and the hierophant deals with family institutions and things like that marriage and family institutions for a lot of you um if you have so for example if you are in a relationship and um you either live together or you are married to another person, there's definitely some major, major communication breakthrough that's going to allow you both to move on and stabilize your relationship. Either taking the relationship to the next level, because we do have the Ace of Swords here, which indicates like um, some type of a step up, okay, some type of a victory as well, because we do have the um, marriage card. This is the Four of Wands. So I definitely feel for a lot of you, you are solidifying a major significant relationship. So this can be getting engaged, getting married, talks about engagement, talks about marriage, and two people coming together in a very harmonious way. Um, I'm reading the, the diagonal energy as well, and we do have the Two of Cups. A lot of you are with your soulmate, and you are taking the relationship to the next level. For others of you who are... Um, also, as well, dealing with some type of a marriage partner, okay, long-standing marriage partner. I do feel that one of the main things is one person or the other person could be dealing with some emotional instability in their own lives, okay? Um, it could honestly be like passing away of uh, family members or parents or, you know, um, things like that that is causing some type of depression within a uh, marriage relationship with a significant other this can come in from your end or it com can come in from their end but you both are going to be victorious in overcoming this uh, mental health issue in order to i guess like stabilize your relationship so i see like stabilization a lot of things are basically uh, falling into place and as a result of it you both can move on together you know and have like um i guess more succinct clear communication and a, a clearer sense of direction about where the relationship is headed as well so i feel like a lot of stability coming through for those of you who are single and dating there is we do have some very very strong um soulmate coming through okay so this is i, I feel like for a lot of you you are going to be dating outside of your social circle. You are going to be dating somebody who's very different from you as well. What I'm sensing here is um, in the past, we do have, well, the energy here is um, deals with like tradition. And I do feel that for a lot of you, there is like a, an idea of a soulmate, an ideal person that you want to be with. But the sun as the success card, it indicates that both of these things indicate to me that um, your soulmate might be different from you, but I feel that you're headed in the wrong direction. You have common dreams and aspirations, and you have like a, a similar way of emotionally connecting with another person, but they might be of a different element, okay? So both of these things indicate to me as well with the temperance card. They might be you, different from your usual type, but together on an emotional level, there's a lot of harmony there's a lot of harmony and union and contracts and things like that. So I definitely feel that um, for those of you single and looking, you should get out there. There is a very strong earth sign, Taurus possibly. Um, there's a strong earth sign here, possibly a Taurus. And there's also the Leo energies, okay? So Leo, Sagittarius, I'm feeling. There are quite a few dating candidates for a lot of you. So we have the, the temperance card, which is the t Sagittarius energy. We do have the sun card, which is like a fire energy. So Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. And I'm, I'm inclined to say Taurus, Sagittarius, and Leo. All right. Um, for others of you, there is definitely some interference 
if you are thinking about, if you have a relationship and for some reason there is disapproval within the family unit, either your family or the other person's family, um, I feel like this is the month in which you all will be able to resolve this discord within the family. So either your families are not approving of the person you're dating or the other person's family is not approving of you. Um, you both will work together as a unit and just, you know, tell yourself that, well, we're in this together. It doesn't really matter what our respective families feel. We care about each other, so we're going to make this work. So I feel some triumphant uh, energies coming together as a couple that will allow you to, you know, stay together rather than let external energies tear you apart, okay? But in terms of like singles and um, those of you who are singles and dating, I do feel you're encountering a lot of very strong, um, you know, like alpha energies. Okay. So it could be alpha male, alpha females, but I feel like very, very strong, clear headed and, um, successful people as well. Okay. So you have a lot of strong characters coming through on the dating front for this month. All right. Um, so I hope the reading has been helpful for you. I don't see any problems, honestly, so I'm going to keep this love reading very short because I feel like, first of all, you've got some contracts, which indicates, you know, engagement, uh, marriage is happening or some solidification of these plans to get engaged, to get married. We do have the high priestess, which is basically you trust that the that you're with the right person. We do have as well the Hierophant, which is very, very stable for new relationships and love relationships in general. So I feel like it's going to be an overall very successful month. We also have like the marriage card. Um, last thing is for those of you who are single and looking, I feel that there will be some major events coming through like family functions, gatherings and things like that. Go to those events if you are looking for, you know, like-minded people, if you're looking to date because I feel like some soulmate energy coming through as a result of some type of either like, um, you know, graduation, um, marriage, potentially baby showers and all, all of those things. So like family related functions, I feel that it's going to bring like a soulmate energy into your life. It will allow you to cross paths with one another, okay? So the energy looks very good. 